States Congress, and no one seemed to challenge it. It's very probable and probably inevitable that our right to bear arms would be challenged in a North American court. So this is just an example of what's happening and what's being proposed. We want to keep our trial by jury system. We want to keep our right to keep and bear arms. We want a system where we have a Supreme Court and not have a tribunal that uh, will be superior to the Supreme Court. In 2005, Centra, a Spanish-owned company, signed a secret agreement with the Texas Department of Transportation to erect toll roads on existing roads and to toll new roads that were completely paid for by tax dollars. There are people, believe it or not, in Texas who don't know what the Trans-Texas Corridor is. Right. TTC 69, which they'll have the environmental hearing starting this spring on, runs through my part of the state. And there are people over there who have no idea what's fixing to come in their backyard. TexDOT, an unelected state agency, claimed that the agreement with the foreign company was even secret from the Texas legislature. When the truth came out, newspapers across the state called for heads to roll politically. Centra's response was to have its Australian subsidiary make its first U.S. newspaper buy. Every newspaper they bought was along branches of the Trans-Texas Corridor and had been critical of the toll road plan. The cost of 40 or 50 newspapers is nothing compared to the profits that'll be made. Just phase one alone of the state toll road plan is estimated to raise more than $200 billion in just the first 15 years. And Texas is only a small part of the global panorama. A combine of transnational companies is aggressively consolidating public finance infrastructure worldwide. And the same interest are erecting a world government according to their rules. A literal wonderland of corporate corruption where governments simply act as vacuum cleaners, sucking up the wealth and resources of the middle class and transferring it to offshore bank accounts leaving behind a cultural and economic wasteland of easily managed slaves. The whole purpose about the North American Free Trade Agreement is not about trade, it's about control. Control of people. Capital is even worse. Control of people. It's not about trade, it's subsidized trade with taxpayers' funds. This thing started here. And to save this country, we kill this damn thing here. To stop it here in Texas, we stop the new world order right here in Texas. Polls consistently show that over 90% of the people are against the NAFTA highway systems and its toll roads. As the people learned of the threat, they got angry and took action. Our ranch is part of the original Spanish land grant, and I would love to not have to give it back to Spain. <laughs> Opponents of a proposed superhighway today held a major protest. A majority of Texas counties have voted to resist the plan for a North American Union and have vowed to block the construction of its infrastructure. The heck we already know in a law that was passed by a subservient United States Congress where practically nobody in the entire Congress stood up and said no, they've already passed the law saying all their driver's licenses are going to be chipped. Well, I'm telling you right now, I'm not going to carry in a driver's license and got a chip in it. So big brother can walk everywhere I go and, do, and see everything I do. No, no, hell no. No, all of it. No, no. Will the people own this plot of ground? We, the people, own those trees there. We, the people, own our beautiful Texas. And we are not going to let a bunch of crooks and robber barons take our beautiful Texas away from us. Hell no! Hell no! No, no, no! RFID tracker chips embedded in state inspection stickers and toll tags are already being used to track the population. The new system is also meant to control growth and steer development through so-called smart growth. 
smart growth, which is nothing more than an effort to bring control into the cities. You have the rewilding of America in the, in the Wildlands Project, the Convention on Biological Diversity, which is to control our rural population. Toll roads on interstate highways nationwide are walling off exit ramps to small towns and rural communities and are creating ghost towns by design. This trend is accelerating under the NAFTA highway system and is meant to rewild more than half the country. All of these things are designed to bring more and more control to bureaucracies rather than to the independent individual, the sovereign individual of this nation. What brought me into this whole discussion was the fact that while I was doing this multi-million dollar research effort in the 1980s and early 1990s, I became aware of an agenda basically to lock up one half of the United States in the wilderness corridors and reserves. What's called the Wildlands Project, but it was also a key cornerstone of the U.S. The United Nations Convention on Biological Diversity. It was during that study in which I began to realize that this was not an effort to protect the environment, but an effort to control you and I. They were dividing the United States up into little compartments in which they would rip out roads, which they would rip out whole communities and put them in back in the wilderness. The federal highway system was designed by Pentagon war planners in the 1950s to serve as a rapid deployment conduit to move ground forces for the defense of the United States during invasion. The unconstitutional Northern Command is now using the highway system as a force projection matrix to dominate populations across the United States. Through federally funded emergency command centers, county and city governments are being quietly federalized nationwide. Billions of dollars per city is being spent to install millions of surveillance cameras. Every town and hamlet, no matter how small or remote, is surveilled. License plate reading software tracks Americans' movements wherever they go. New systems are being deployed that scan your face, read your lips, and analyze your walk. Under the Treasonous Military Commissions Act, American citizens can be secretly arrested, stripped of citizenship, flown to offshore torture camps, and secretly executed. Under Section 802 of the Patriot Act, all misdemeanors are considered terrorism. Federal police squads called Viper Teams randomly force Americans to line up and show their papers. From the sidewalks of Miami to the subways of New York to the streets of Houston, Texas, citizens are being searched by heavily armed gangs of paramilitary police. Long before 9-11, the Pentagon was aggressively violating the federal law that bars the military from policing the American people. Coast to coast for more than two decades, teams of troops would just appear out of nowhere and randomly stop cars and search pedestrians. The acclamation accelerated with regular army searching bags at the Super Bowl and the Kentucky Derby, as well as other high-profile events. Then President Bush signed a Defense Authorization Act, which radically increased the funding for the already bloated shadow government. In the act, the executive branch formally announced that it was preparing for domestic insurrection and went on to preemptively strip the state governors and legislatures of their powers. The federal government is openly announcing that it is the only authority as it treats the people and the states as enemies. Then on May 9, 2007, President Bush unlawfully granted himself new powers, and the presidency officially 